Hello, I'm Corey Suzuki, and this is my submission for CS50W Project 1 Wiki. I decided to try creating my own Markdown to HTML converter module, so a large portion of this video will be spent going over that. But first, here's a short demonstration of the project's required features. That's that, and now I'll walk you through some of the code for the markdown converter functions. First, in the views.py entry function, I check to make sure that the entry actually exists. Then using my imported MD converter module, I call the MD converter function, passing in the markdown content as its argument and returning the HTML content that will be used to generate the web page for each entry. And in the MD converter.py file itself, MD converter is the function that I use in the views.py file. All of the helper functions for each conversion are included as a list within MD converter. Then each function is applied one at a time by looping over the markdown content. I broke down the header conversion into a two part process. Part one uses the read.sub function. The pattern matches all lines that start with one to six hashtags, followed by any number of white space characters, then any number of any characters until the end of the line. The second argument provided to the read.sub function is the replacement. This string uses back references to refer to the capturing groups from the pattern, signified by the parentheses. It then back references the capturing group containing the hashtags and places them within opening and closing HTML tags. The second back reference pointing to the content is placed between those tags. After step one, all that's left to do is replace the hashtags with the proper HTML header tag. I do this with a for loop that has i starting at one and ending at six. So for each iteration i, the function looks for i number of hashtags and replaces that with h i, if that makes sense. Convert bold italic is simple, just uses the re.sub function again. But convert paragraphs is the one that gave me the most trouble. It ended up being pretty simple once I wrapped my head around the problems. It basically boiled down to figuring out how to keep track of whether or not I was inside of a paragraph already, and figuring out how to insert a p tag before a line that was being checked. I started by using the string method split lines to get a list of all the lines of text, and I solved the first problem by creating a boolean value called inside para that would track whether or not I was inside a paragraph, and for the second problem I decided to make a separate list called converted lines and copy the content over to that. This allowed me to append the p tags before copying the content of the line to the new list. Convert ul works similarly to convert para. If the line contains an li tag and inside ul is false, that means a new unordered list is starting. But for this function, I use the python list method insert to add an opening ul tag before the current line. Honestly not sure if this is better than creating a new list and copying the content. Creating a new list is a bit more intuitive for me, but I think in terms of time complexity, this approach is more efficient because I avoid the need to shift all the existing lines to make room for the tags. And the last two functions are pretty much just more of the same. In the convert ol function, the only difference is that I had to temporarily use the tags liol, so the list items uh, from the unordered list would be ignored. And convert links, simple enough, and yeah. I really enjoyed tackling this challenge. Uh, regular expressions were one of those things that looked like hieroglyphics to me. Um, the patterns still kind of look insane sometimes, but at least I know I can figure it out. Thanks for watching.